Okay, in this simple but really important tutorial, I'll show you some easy little tricks for aligning your objects and selecting your objects and viewing your objects. Sometimes objects get in the way when you're trying to select things and there's easy ways to deal with it. So with these three objects in the scene, first of all, the numpad. Let's go, if you're not familiar with the views, if you just press one on the numpad, it gives you your front perspective as it shows right up here like this. And three gives you a right perspective or the side view and then 7 allows you to look at from above and then if you press 5 on the keyboard from any view you go into orthogonal mode All right, so this allows you to really select things and really line things up square if you want them so even from there's this view like this so it really it's, it's a very simple way but another way is let's say I press 3 and I have the side view but I want to look at the other cube instead you can hold down the control key and press 3 and you're looking at the alternate side like that you can see how it just swaps views like that and then same with 1 from this side or control 1 flips it around to this side like that that's really useful but say I want to edit this object in here and I go into edit mode but I want to edit some points here on the side and so if I press 3 that might work but sometimes that gets in the way so one of the ways I do I can either just go directly into wireframe mode and work that way that's helpful but sometimes it's easier just to I'll go back here leave edit mode for a second I'll take this object out of the scene altogether just by pressing H well, could, you could move it to another layer by pressing M followed by a number but it's easier just to press H and you just hide it for a second and then when I'm over here now I can see the whole object and if you want to get it back you press alt H to reveal it so there it is back in the scene like this and another thing is when you select items on an object when I'm in edit mode like this I've mentioned this before in a couple videos because it's really important sometimes I want to select if you go into wireframe you can always select everything from all sides so I'll press a B a to clear everything B and I do this here and I have all the vertices like this all right but I like to work in my nice shaded mode texture mode like this and in order to do that if you only if you press B and select from here you're only getting half of the vertices like that and so the way you do it is just this little button down here just deselect the limit selection button and it makes it see-through you can see it when I move it you can see it see-through like this now and so now when you're in here and you select these vertices like that it picks up well I must be in face select I was in face select I didn't get those top row like this I better do let me just do that a little bit better B so at least I get all those faces and then I have both sides like that alright so just little tricks that can really help you out a whole lot and okay, that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next lesson.